China accounted for 90% of Bitcoin trade just one year ago. But with Beijing banning initial coin offerings, or ICOs, and regulators shutting down Bitcoin exchanges there, Japan is setting out on a different path, embracing the crypto movement. Bitcoin trade here in Japan accounts for nearly half the global trade volume. Compare that to 25% in the U.S. The number has surged since the government passed a new law earlier this year recognizing the digital currency as a legal form of payment. That law encouraged some big retailers here to partner with Bitcoin exchanges and begin accepting the digital currency. There's already more than 4,500 stores that let you pay with Bitcoin here. And the Nikkei says that number could increase five-fold by the end of the year. So we've recruited Mai Fujimoto, who's also known as Miss Bitcoin here in Japan, to take us to some of these stores that are accepting the digital currency. You ready to go shopping? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay, let's head out. Let's go. Mai's become a type of crypto evangelist in Japan, blogging and tweeting about all things Bitcoin. Her nickname? A way to familiarize people with what was largely an unfamiliar space until recently. You started investing in 2011. Mm -hmm. How much was Bitcoin then? Uh, about 1,000 yen. 1,000 yen. Yeah. That's roughly 10 US dollars, a price that's jumped more than 500% since. Here's 10,000 yen. Okay. Okay, I'll give that to you. Okay. And then how do I get that in Bitcoin? Okay, so this is your QR code. And uh, I read this QR code. Yeah, this. This is Big Camera that's one of the biggest electronic stores right here in Japan and they just started accepting Bitcoin in April. So we've got our Bitcoin on our phone. We're going to go spend some money. So that's 0 0.00336, but it basically amounts to 1,803 yen. I did manage to get very cute towel, polka dotted. And all the shopping is kind of making me hungry. So, um, Mai, do you know of a good restaurant around here that accepts Bitcoin? Uh, yes, I know. That's sushi restaurant near here. Sushi restaurant? Yeah, okay, yeah. let's go there. Fatty tuna and mackerel aren't the only things on the menu here. A Bitcoin ATM greets customers looking to top up their digital wallets. In your daily routine, how much of what you use is Bitcoin and how much do you pay in cash or credit card? Um, maybe 19% I paid not Bitcoin. Not Bitcoin? Yeah, um, only so I use Bitcoin for uh, send money overseas. Mai says regulations built trust in the currency, but people aren't necessarily using it to replace cash. Bitcoin's still considered an investment, not an everyday currency here. Many people have Bitcoin now, now buy Bitcoin, and maybe we need time to uh, use Bitcoin. So maybe they have to learn more about Bitcoin. That curiosity has led to an increasing number of public seminars like this one on ICOs. Hardcore hackers aren't the only ones here, but housewives, Bitcoin newcomers, even professional matchmakers like Chieko Date. She tells me her son encouraged her to invest, and she has 2 million yen in four currencies now. Japan hasn't been without problems. Three years ago, the first major Bitcoin exchange, Mt. Gox, collapsed and declared bankruptcy after hackers raided its accounts. That's partly why regulators are responding with stricter rules this time, requiring exchanges to maintain minimal capital reserves, separate customer accounts, and establish anti-money laundering and know-your-customer or KYC practices. Bar owner Mike Verwey says those rules aren't pushing his customers away from the digital currency for now. He processes Bitcoin payments every day. It's surprising to see in Japan, they don't really uh, seem to be the first to adapt to new concepts like this. In fact, they kind of shy away from change mostly. But um, maybe they're going to grab it and run with it, I hope. And with Bitcoin still largely banned in China, there's plenty of opportunity for Japan to take the lead.